So in this video, I'm going to be taking a couple of multimeter measurements of uh, one of my new solar cells. I got 10 of these solar cells in the mail. I ordered them from eBay, 10 of them for $18, so about a buck 80 a cell. The uh, seller says that they're 0.5 volts and uh, 4.8 watts. Now it's raining outside, so I can't take any measurements outside at all. These will just be indoor measurements, uh, low light setting, and a higher light setting. So now to begin with, I want to point out that the uh, blue side of the solar cell, when there's light on there, these uh, white traces are going to be the negative side of uh, the power source. Over here, it's going to be the positive side on the other side. So I'm going to set the meter to beep when you have a good conductive path. So this is just like touching two uh, ends of a wire. The current conducts really easy across this whole thing. This is all uh, a conductive area. So when I'm taking my measurements I can just touch the red probe to any part of here and that will give us the positive side of the power source for our reading. So it's really easy to make a connection there. Whereas on the blue side if you touch any of the blue areas, those are not conductive when you're taking a measurement reading or anything. Your connection has to be on these uh, white areas. And uh, so that's something to be aware of. The whole back of these cells are conductive, whereas on the front it's just these uh, white traces. The blue areas are not conductive. Another thing I want to mention is uh, I haven't been handling these cells the best. This is uh, one of my cleaner ones. The other ones that I handled more, I touched them and stuff, and as soon as you touch them, even if you just washed your hands, right after I washed my hands, I touched them, and I leave a little, like, grease smudge. So uh, make sure you don't uh, touch the uh, front of these cells if you have them. So now let's get to the actual uh, measurements. As I said, we're indoor now. It's raining outside. I can't even measure them outside. I just got these cells in the mail yesterday and uh, opened the box uh, late last night so I don't know how they're gonna be outdoor yet but uh, we can take some indoor measurements so right now we have about a 60 watt light bulb worth of light above us it's an energy efficient light the uh, red probe is touching the metal on the back and uh, the black probe here I have on one of these traces here and you can see this cell is outputting about uh, 0.26 volts so this cell is rated for half a volt and uh, 0.5 volts and we're getting about half of that in low light and now also under low light we'll measure the current and uh, the current this is outputting right now is about 2.57 milliamps so there is some current there and some voltage but uh, not much at all so next we'll take uh, reading under a brighter light so now I got a lamp positioned above here, we'll set it to voltage and we'll just get it right to the uh, highest setting of this lamp. So again it's not terribly bright but uh, quite a bit brighter than what we were dealing with before. And I uh, can have the red probe touching anywhere along the back, remember the whole back is conductive whereas the front only these traces are conductive. So you can see we met the uh, point, uh, 0.5 volts now. We're slightly above 5 volts with this brighter light, which uh, is what the cell is rated for. Now, we'll go to milliamps. Again, we'll touch anywhere along the back with the uh, probe. And uh, one of these white traces here. Now you can see we have about 130 milliamps of current being output by this solar cell under the lamp with a brighter light setting. So now I came up with an easy setup to get an idea how putting these in series are going to affect them. Here's a cell I've been handling the most. You can see like smudges all over there. Uh, in person it's even easier to see them. So don't touch these cells. Um, I got smudges all over here. But in any case, again, we're going to do, uh, first we'll do a voltage reading. So the light's not as ideally placed over uh, these cells as I had them before because now I'm trying to spread it over two cells. But here you can see this cell is outputting about uh, 0.48 volts 
under a little worse lighting than it had before. And this one again, about the same voltage. Uh, but now, since we got the meter on voltage, we'll measure them in series. Once I get a good connection, there we go. So you can see the voltage just doubled because they're in series. So the voltage is adding up. We got almost one volt instead of almost uh, half a volt for uh, an independent cell. Now, we'll set it to measure milliamps. So uh, I should mention that uh, as I showed before, the front of these cells are the negative side. The rear is the positive side. And remember, the whole rear is conductive. So if I just lay this cell on top of this one, the back of this cell, the positive side, is connected to the uh, front of this cell, the negative side. So it's just like putting batteries in series. These just aren't soldered or anything. They're uh, just laying there, so it's not a permanent connection or anything. But now uh, we'll take the current reading, and first we'll do the current reading of uh, each individual cell. And right now, there we go, I got a better connection. We almost have 80 milliamps of current coming uh, out of that cell. And again, not too far away, this cell is getting a little less light, about 70 milliamps. Now we'll measure the current with them in series. And you'll notice the current in series didn't add up like the voltage did. There's uh, about the current of uh, one of these cells. So that's one of the trade-offs when you're putting power sources in a uh, series is you don't get as much current because remember the current has to flow through both of these. The current that each one's producing now has to go through uh, two components. So that kind of knocks off a bit of the current. So uh, that's why I'm doing these tests kind of get an idea of how different setups are, are going to affect things. Now of course this is just indoor lighting, uh, outdoor lighting. Uh, hopefully I'll get a lot better results all around. 